just going to prep this one. Where's our solder? Here we go. So just tinning this tip because this one was like cut off of a different one. So we got that nice and wet. So then we're just going to do plenty of flux on those pads. And then we're going to tin them up. And yeah, for this one, you have to go all the way to max heat right. because it. Uh, particularly on the ground side because mm -hmm. the ground is connected to like everything mm -hmm. uh, it, it acts as like a heat sink and really spreads the it, it wick, sort of wicks the heat away pretty quickly so you just have to kind of see how it's it's not even really hot enough so yeah. once it got to 480 it's kind of like hot enough so I'm just spreading you put the solder on the whole pad, right, or just flux? So you put the flux on the whole pad. But you also put solder on top of that, right, on the whole pad. Yeah, so I'm wetting the whole pad like that, so okay. it's fully covered in uh, solder. So this one's gonna be um, like this one is at 480. Yeah, so this is at max temperature. So then I'm just like just have to kind of hold hold this on there until it really heats up the whole pad and because like this ground is connected to so many parts of the SC it's really pulling the heat away mm -hmm. so just got it like um, nicely um, tinned there so that should be that's that's what it should look like when they're tinned the pads are tinned you see, it's, it's a nice and wet now. See how it's really nice and wet? Yeah. So when I let it let it off, it's really nice and juicy. Okay. Um, so then, depending on which way you're running your wire, uh, see, what I've been doing lately is, is kind of putting the wire in, like kind of coming in from the top. Mm -hmm. um, so then, like with this all tinned up, basically then just refloat. Attach it like that. Okay. So let me just get it nice and and it, it you have to let it. Uh, heat the wire and get it all nice and wet. And yeah. should be good there. This this one has the harder one. Okay, yeah, I see snow, it's not all nice and wet there. I'm just kind of moving this around to kind of make sure that it gets nice and nice and covered. Okay, let me just get a little more solder going. Mm -hmm. So then with these, with these ones, because we've got, usually it's a problem where you're, you've got your transmitter here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, you're trying to figure out a nice way to run to, like if you have this kind of going all the way back, like there's no room for the uh, transmitter normally, but with these, we've got this whole separate thing where the transmitter is back here. So okay, there's, just plenty, from the back. there's plenty of room. So with these, you're just wanting these wires to be as short, as short as possible, because mm -hmm. like there's a lot of charge coming in and out of these and it can overheat and actually get red hot and burn. So however however you want to do it. Do you want to like, so cut the wire or do you want 
Yeah, so however you, you, you want to do it on that particular bit. Do you feel how hot that is now, right there? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Because it's like to get that ground uh, to properly float, you've got to heat up the whole, the whole thing has to get like really hot. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, with these ones, just, just, just to get these wires to be as short as possible, what I've been doing is this kind of, uh, layout and you're making sure that the, the gold strip there with the minuses yeah, is, something. is on the minus side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then I've got these kind of like wrapped around there. And I mean, you have to figure out a different configuration for if you if you need the ESC to be right there. Mm -hmm. But this is just a good way that I've got to go in for this one because uh, we don't need that space. So then I'm just gonna go for some more. Looking for that liquid flux. We'll go with, with this. Just a little more flux. solder I'm just gonna float I've kind of kind of got to hold this so it doesn't fall away I'll hold these together with one hand and then just get yeah that's gonna be good Then I'll just take this, um, clip it, clip it off. And if I want to make it a little prettier, just get even more. Put more solder on top of it. Uh, this one here, you can use a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty and shiny. So, I mean, the key thing is that it's like, it's a nice blob. It's a nice round blob. Yeah. It's not uh, too lumpy or it looks like a crinkle foil. So you're not gonna go play uh, like on the other side? You're just gonna do the top? Or? I could, but then it will melt. It will, it, it, I have to, I have to, yeah, I could put a little more in here, but it's not really necessary. Okay, okay. okay. But like, um, yeah, I could, I could. Like, just do some more. You run the, run the risk of everything melting off here, so, but I'll just add a little more here, just so that it has really good contact. Making sure it gets connected to the, the cap there. Right there. So I'm putting a little solder actually onto the uh, cap a little bit just to sort of get it a good amount of conductivity between the um, capacitor and the board. You see, I'm just just trying to get those that those capacitor leads as short as possible because sometimes you get a drone and you see that those are burned out. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, you just want things to look nice and wet. And so that means you sometimes just have to, like, you get it nice and wet, and then you really yank the iron away, like quick, like that, and then it, it will form into a nice mm -hmm. shape. Yeah. And that's basically it for that step. Yeah, that goes this way. Done. That's good. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So then the next step we're going to do is um, we're going to take this little thing I just made. We're going to try 
I'm going to try this. See how it works. Where I'm going to put the wires all in, and what we, we want to do is use the small zip tie um, to zip tie that down right there, so there's nice tension. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're gonna we're gonna put this down on top, and it's gonna add pressure to all these and hopefully keep them right in place. So then we just go and cut cut them all to the right length. Mm -hmm. and hopefully it should go a bit quicker. So we want to run, oh yeah, the, the, the crucial thing here is, yeah, you're just saying we want, if we're doing it by hand, where we've got um, the, uh, we want to make a, give enough room for these spacers because when the um, flight control, this isn't a flight controller, but when, when we put the flight controller on top, we want the wires to be wrapping around that thing. So we don't want it to be like so tight around there. We want it to give it like a good amount of slack so that it's like uh, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So that it's not, uh, so that the wires all go flat when we want to press the flight controller all down. So we just need to run the wires, like put some, some tension right there and then wrap these around like that so that there's enough room. So kind of like that. Yeah. Kind of like that. So there's just a little bit of a gap there. So one thing I was doing just as, just as a guide before is I would use one of these little silicone things and uh, let me get one back. And I would just put that on the post here to make sure that I didn't like make it too tight so that when I wrap this around it's like a good uh, there's the right amount of space there, so I could, if I do it, but don't do it too tight because then when you take this off, it'll like snap in there, it'll be hard. You just want to give it like a good amount of space there. I mean, is it okay if there's some slack? Like it's well, what you don't want is so much slack that the wires on the other side, like because we, we're going to have wires coming in on the other yeah, side, mm -hmm. so what you want is to kind of have a good balance between it going like the 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 one that's going the widest should go all the way out to the middle mm -hmm. of the ESC there and then come back this way so that there is kind of like a good like there's a good amount of space between the inner wire and the posts but then also like the wires on the other side come together and sort of meet in the middle yeah you know what I mean mm -hmm. like so that the wires are nicely spread out but so that when we take the, the flight controller and we and we smash it down onto here, that uh, it fits nicely together. Mm -hmm. They come right together, um, you know, like that. We don't want it to be like all bunched up here. 